back in this episode. Uh, we got about 10 weeks out before squirrel season here. I've got a uh, CZ452 American here with a Nikon Pro Staff 3-9 EFR on it. I need to get some dope on this rifle. And I'd like to take you through what it what I do when I sight in my squirrel rifles, 25, 50, 35, and 15, and take you through the process and show you how I figure out what ammo I'm going to shoot, uh, take notes and find out what I'm doing at 50, 35, 25, and 15, <clears throat> and just the process I go through when I sight a squirrel rifle in for the season. So let's take that journey together and let's learn something together. All right, so I've removed the bolt from my rifle. I'm in at 25 yards right now. Um, I've taken my eyes and I'm looking down through the bore. Of course, I can't get this thing to focus on the bore and show you the target on the other end. But, but, but with my eyes open, both of them, um, I'm able to look down this and be able to see that my bore is in the middle of that target. Now, that also needs to correspond with my scope. I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know how it's going to work. So there's my target, and that's where my crosshairs are. So I need to relocate those crosshairs to the middle of that target where I've got that bore pointing right now. So that means I need to come left and maybe a little bit down if you can see that. So those are the adjustments I'm going to make. Okay, so from the, last, from the last clip you've seen that I was high and right. Now I've made adjustments via my turrets on top of my scope and on the side of my scope to adjust me to the middle of that target. Now, I just need to see if I can lay a group down in the middle of that target. My ammunition of choice today that I'm going to start with, hopefully it'll work, is a CCI Mini Mag, 36 grain hollow point. Alright, so I've got five rounds of CCI Mini Mag loaded up. I'm going to go ears on, eyes on. We're going to see where this bore sight ends up. Just a touch high and to the right. Not bad. Real close there for my bore sight. I'm going to shoot another one just to make sure I'm grouping there and then I'll make my adjustments. Grouping. Make my adjustments from here. Give that a try now, see if I can't line it up right in the bullseye. Maybe I over-adjusted. Just a little bit. Try one more. 
more shot that I got left. See if that'll do it. Pretty much there. Kind of get excited when your group turns out like that. Next up, I'll be laying down a 25 yard. That looks cute. Next up, I'll be laying down a 25 yard group to see how tight I can be at 25. Then I'll move to 50, 35, back at 25 just to check, and then at 15. All right, I got high hopes for this rifle. I got a little bit of wind coming in, and that can affect things even at 25 yards, more so at 50. We're gonna see if we can't lay a group down for 25 yards now. And then move on to 50. May make some minute adjustments here. You want to calm yourself down, rest your heart rate, exhale. I try to hold that and press through that trigger, pressing straight to the rear of the gun so you can make it the most accurate shot you can. Of course, a rest helps that. Go on and see if we can't pile this group up, make a nice cover leaf group. If it enter any time, you're in the rifle and you run out of breath, you feel like you're gonna make a bad shot, stop, reset. A little bit off. Wish it was tighter than that. Pretty much happy at 25. I don't know that I need to make any other adjustments. So we're gonna move it back to 50. Alright guys, a little change of pace here. Don't mean to throw a curveball in it, but I did a little off-camera work since I had another variety of ammo here, which is SK high velocity hollow point. Just laid down a group off camera and I'm gonna put one on camera for you. But this is gonna be the ammo that I'm switching to. Just to bring you to this point that CCI mini mag 7 cent around this is 15 cent around I know that may be a little high for you to shoot but when you see the type of group that this type of ammunition lays down you may want to change your way of thinking about the type of ammo you're running in your squirrel gun just a thought be back with you with a group from this ammo at 25 let's see what that SK high velocity hollow point can do at 25 
That's a nice one whole group so far. And thus proving the point that 15 cent around ammo may be worth it to you. I'd say we're ready to take it from 50 to 50 from here where I'm going to make my final adjustments. I always make my final adjustments at 50 and I'll bring it back to 35, record that, that uh, group. I'll bring it back to 25 and then 15 and I'll log it all in my dope book. But 25 is where I get started from and I really start to take my stuff down at 50. All right. Time to run her out to 50. SK high velocity HP at 50. Usually I find with high velocity rounds that if I'm on at 25, I'm on at 50. There's no uh, elevation change. We'll see what happens. This is the first time with this round. much in the center. I long for something more than nine power. Even though I like three to nine scopes, I always want more. They are heavier to carry in the woods. Most of your shots of squirrels are going to be somewhere between 25 and 40 yards. It's got enough power to do the job. I just when I'm sighting in target practice, I'd love to have 14, 16, 18 or 20 power to get to at 50 yards. Low too. Hard to tell with a nine power at that distance. Not as good as I'd like. You may be so, able to in doing some off-camera work, I've realized that I don't have the capability with a nine tower and under scope to make effective hits as far as sighting in at 50 yards. So the rule I'm gonna make for myself right now is that any scope that I have on a squirrel rifle that's under nine power, I'm gonna stop my sight in at 35 yards. Still working with the SK high velocity hollow point. See if I can lay a five shot group down here, write that information down in my, my dope blog for this rifle and stop my sight in at 35 for nine power. I'm not saying that you can't be capable of effective hits. I'll be able to hit squirrels at beyond 35 yards with this gun during squirrel season. My capabilities on the range and my eyesight, I can't make the hits I'm looking for group wise on a target with with this power of scope. So, let's make this last group of 35 count and be done with this rifle and ready to go, to go with it for this squirrel season. Better load that my A.
windy too. I'm sure that's going to affect some things. Yep, that's going to work just fine. Excellent group. Now, the thing I'm going to do to finish this gun off is to fire two or three rounds at 15 yards just to see what my holdover is going to be for this rifle. All right, let's make it happen at 15. We're in a real quick three shot group. It's going to be all I need to know to log in. 15. In case I'm not carrying a pistol when I'm squirreling. Nice thing about a adjustable objective is that my target now that I've turned it down is not blurry at all. Nice crisp clear picture. It's gonna be about a half an inch drop. What it looks like. That's how much I'm gonna have to hold over a squirrel. Basically meaning if I want to take a headshot at 15 yards if that opportunity presents itself. Basically I'm gonna put the top of my crosshairs on the top of that squirrel's head. Or the actual part of his head silhouettes. That's where I'll rest my crosshairs. Because a half an inch drop, I should be able to hit him in the eye when I do that. That's it for this gun. That's it for this side in. I'm glad I've learned that 35 yards is my limit. And uh, on a 9 power scope and under. Um, I'm satisfied with where it's shooting with these uh, SK high velocities. Um, excited to try this round out this year. Glad it's working for me. Um, can't find those right now. Glad I've got one brick of them at least. That'll certainly get me through season. But uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, maybe I'll have another video coming out with uh, a total 50-yard sighting. I may just shoot that one right after this. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Thanks for tuning in. Nate Bone Buster, out.